Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, guys. So this is my SBM Biology Analysis 2023-2024 after one year. Are you guys start preparing for your SBM Biology? If no, then this video might help you a little bit. But why a little bit? Because, because analysis always an analysis. It's not 100% come out in your SBM. It is just a reference for you guys to refer give you the directions like what you need to focus more or maybe motivation to push you guys a little bit to study certain topics all right guys so let me show you my analysis this time yeah all right before i start i would like to thank my colleague teacher abby for helping me to do this analysis i would like to share the result with you guys all here okay now for this time analysis is much more details because teacher abby it actually lists down all the subtopics and small topics from your textbook and you can look at here on the right side you have the zero zero means there's nothing or no question came out in your trial papers okay so all these things um chapter 1.1 1 .1, chapter 9.6 it's not in our trial paper it's here okay i know your time is really precious so i'll just skip all these things okay straight away jump into the main points here yeah all right let's look at this one okay we start from here now okay so this is the questions that came out four times in different states of paper. For example, okay, look at this one. The one that I highlighted is the question 11. So what you guys can see here is from the threats to the environment, we actually have three questions that came out in question 11. Now question 11 is what? Question 11 is the ASA question that you have no options. You must do it. So threats to the environments came up three times okay you came out three times in three different states huh? and the states actually come from here Nagiri Sembilan and also the Kelantan as well as Perlis okay these three states came out other topics like body defense and type of immunity came out three times in different states you can see question nine okay came out types of immunity as well as body defense this one also the same and uh, one of the states came out in the question 10 as well okay continue to look at the question that came out four times in different states yeah okay look at this what we have here digestions absorptions and also assimilations okay came out in the para state as well as the kata state other than that these questions this kind of question came out in question four question six question six question seven which is the small small subjective questions digestions absorptions assimilation it can come out in your essay questions subjective questions or maybe in your objective question so definitely you guys need to master this and they are linked together if you guys know right digestions after digestions absorptions will happen after absorptions estimations will happen so these three process that link together all right now let's move on the questions like monohybrid inheritance okay so monohybrid inheritance came out in three different states question 11 question 10 and question 10 one of it came out in the subjective question, question eight. Maybe we can look at one of the questions in Malacca paper. This is Malacca paper, yeah. So let's go to the question 11. Okay, so this is the questions. Asking you about what is the meaning of pure breed. Explain why offspring produce all round seed. So you need to know how to do the crossing, no? okay, the monohybrid crossing in order to answer the, all these questions. Now, the question that came out five times Digestive system again, what you guys can see here is came out a lot in your subjective questions. Question four, question six, question six, question seven, and question four. Okay, in different states. So yeah, digestions every year is very popular one because uh, we have a lot of questions to come out here. All right. So then we have the vascular tissue. Vascular tissue is actually talking about the xylem and also the vessel. Let me show you one of the sample questions here. Let's do it for the SPP questions, yeah? Okay, we have done the SPP question before. So you can see SPP questions actually have one xylem and phloem questions under question 9, all right? So question 9, talking about the tracheal and also the xylem vessel, I want you to mention the characteristic of the xylem vessel, how it transports the water, how it provides mechanical support to the plants, and yeah, we are going to talk about the heavy metal la later on. Now, this question, question B, this one is related to the environmental questions. Okay, it's talking about the final remediations, how the water hyacinth absorb the heavy metals from the polluted water. 
this is something you need to check out also but why maybe we'll talk about this later all right so now next one yeah this one is related to the xylem and also the phloem one when we talk about the xylem and phloem there are two big process we need to talk about the transpiration and also the translocations sometimes the question will ask you to compare the transpirations and also the cartesian process okay so you can get the differences from the textbook definitely okay guys let's move on the next one is the biotechnology biotechnology question 8 question 10 question 11 question 11 question 8 biotechnology um surprisingly quite a lot this time okay in your trial papers okay we have five times this question came out and it came out in the essay part it's like question 10 11 question 9 question 11 only one question came out in question 8 so we will look at some of the examples here the malacca paper again maybe so this is the gmo question 10 uh. this is the malacca paper question 10 this is a gmo I want to talk about the food security guys did you guys realize that this time of SPM trial papers came out a lot of food security. Maybe food security is something that you guys prepare, lah, okay, just in case, ma, right? So look through the schema Japan, try to understand why the schema Japan answer in this way, and then make it as your own answer, okay, for the food security. Now, next one, green technology. Green technology came out in your SPM before. You guys can go and check your past year paper, okay? We have the green technology questions. But this question is going to relate to the food security again so food security again yeah you guys know lah what to do huh then we move on we talk about the organic and also the gmo you can see we have the small tomato and also the big tomato so which to tomato should she choose explain uh, this one definitely you guys need to go and compare the natural product and also the gmo product okay so this is what you guys can read through uh, this one is very easy one you can read through the textbook then definitely you can get the answer already Okay, go back to the analysis. Now, come to the six questions. Now, six questions, locomotions, movements and locomotions. Question six, question seven, question nine, question eight, question four, question eight. So maybe we'll go through the Selangor one, see what happens here. Yeah, vertebral column come out. The question asks you to label the vertebrates, okay, which part is which part. So definitely, you guys need to know, we actually have four major parts of the vertebrate. You guys need to know the location and their name. Difference between the thoracic vertebrates and lumbar vertebrates. Okay, this one you guys just need to go and remember the most important part of the thoracic and the lumbar vertebrate that okay already. For example, like lumbar, it has a very big body to support the weight from the upper body. Then the thoracic vertebrate, it has two holes at the side. So that holds what is the functions? Ah, you guys can go and look through it. Ah. Okay. So we are going to talk about the deformity of the bones, softening of the bones. Baguette, okay, osteomalacia, okay, all these things are quite popular also lah, when it comes to this year's trial. If you guys have done enough trial, you will realize that. Okay, go and prepare a little bit for the local motion one. Next one, six questions again, environmental sustainability. Okay, so you can see question 11, question 10, question 11, question 11, question 11, question 11. Oh my God, why so many question 11 use this topic? You can see Nagli Similan, Terangganu, MRSM, Perlis, okay, Kelantan. All these questions come from the topic 10.3, practice in the environment. To be honest, this kind of question is not easy because most of the time, students don't know what to write. And sometimes you think you can write. You can write something and then you have some points but that points is not really able for you to get the marks okay so this one is the typical one we will go and check with the mrsm one let's see what kind of questions come out here okay so this question is talking about the uh, acromaganan state three important components of the food security guys can you see that food security again ah uh? So many food security. So yeah. So you can see we are going to talk about the extreme hot and dry weather. But all these questions are related to the food security. Okay, food security. Okay, the next one is talking about the sustainability. Now the best way to do this kind of question is always refer to your schema Japan. No need to think about what kind of points you can write. Okay, 
but you can refer to your schema Japan and learn how they write the answer okay for certain questions of course you guys need to go and look through the questions uh properly because 99 percent of the times the question will be a little bit different or maybe totally different okay so you guys need to go and look at the schema Japan and learn how they write okay next one um inheritance this is something new i realized that this year trial papers okay come out a lot of uh inheritance uh genetic uh mono hybrids uh biotech uh this kind of questions for form 5 chapter 11 12 to 13 the trial papers okay came out quite a lot of time but a lot of students tend to skip this part chapter 11 12 and 13 because the last part of form 5 is considered as not easy all right if you guys haven't prepared any one of the topics right here i think you guys need to start to prepare for these chapters already because yeah okay what you guys can see here is okay the analysis show you this question came out six times okay in the ASA questions all right but let's say if you guys have no idea where to start no worry i have prepared the complete e-learning videos for you guys all right with this video you guys can even start now okay just spend one or two hours to look through all this video i'm sure you guys can definitely score in your exam all right if you guys are interested to subscribe all these videos right here you guys can always find my contact below this video contact me i'm always happy to help okay all right so let's continue with our analysis here okay next one the question that came out seven times surprisingly this time is the leaf structure question six question seven question three four one seven one this leaf structure question came out seven times in different states okay so let's look at the samples here this time we go for the nagali Milan. okay questions uh question six name the structure label p and q yeah this one is some normal questions uh ask you to label palisimens of cell, xylem phloem okay soma you guys need to go and know how to label the structure okay see the function of p gut sound okay importance of stomata closure when chance lack of water on a hot day you need you guys need to know how the gut cell close or open the stoma okay it's very very important here you talk about how the potassium ion pump in how the water flow in those kind of process okay oh yeah you can see this is a locomotion question again you can see question seven locomotions the topic that we mentioned just now is quite hot also these questions okay they will ask you what happens okay when your arms is broken yeah so to explain your answer lah. okay so this is the trial papers uh, not the exact spm questions yeah all right final one the last one okay the question that came out eight times in your trial paper okay so you can see community and ecosystem this question came out in question 11 question 8 and 10 question 8 question 7 question 8 question 10 question 6 question 5 and 6 obviously even though this question is really really hot it seldom come out in question 11 and question 10. okay most of the time it came out in the structure questions okay so we'll just simply choose one like Elisa Milana since we already have this file open you can see question 8. this is the taxonomy linear hierarchy system ask you to name the scientific name do you guys know how to name it like we have two names binomial system yeah this is the ecology questions all right and uh question 10 also ecology question let's look at question 10. okay separatism the relationship competitions you can see when we have two plants together when we have two living things put together and then they show this kind of graph this one confirmed is competitions all right competitions you guys must know how to interpret this kind of graph huh? okay so let's go for a few more questions here maybe mrsm1 mrsm question eight mangrove oh mangrove okay guys i let you guys to do a little bit of homework huh? if your SPM past year have no mangrove came out then maybe you guys need to go and study a little bit about the mangrove okay so no matter uh the adaptations of the mangrove or maybe the successions of the mangrove ecosystem of the mangrove you guys need to go and study okay and the zone the name of the roots you guys need to go and memorize one 
mangrove popular right mangrove popular so type of fruits adaptive characteristic now this is the uh, talking about the successions okay just need to focus few points right here talk about the trap the mud and then the place become higher and then the land become drier that's it that that's the three points you guys need to put okay guys i think it's time for you guys to start studying already lah huh? analysis already came out remember to study the whole textbook okay don't just study the one that i highlighted here because last year what happens the dichotomy came out so no one is actually know this kind of topic is coming out so yeah go and study everything's up i wish you guys all the best in your SPM exam okay see you around bye bye